What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. So we're going to be talking about Scream 7 mostly in this video here today, going over some comments that Jasmine Brown made recently uh, about the character of Mindy and what she would like to see from Mindy in Scream 7. But before I get into that, I want to touch on a mild update on The Strangers 3 for anyone who was curious about when you could expect to see The Strangers movie. Now, Ryan Bound, or Boney, who recently sat down with his Tamara home or his Tamarahome.net, will be starring in the upcoming film and he addressed when the strangers 3 would be released as well as just sharing some insight on who his character will be now we know the strangers 3 it will again be a first of a new trilogy that is going to release later this year now according to ryan shout out to you md for sharing this information with me because on imdb there is a very specific date listed but i'm not too sure how true that date is but i know that this actor has revealed the specific month to at least be true the Strangers 3 will arrive in theaters, I assume, after, I assume sometime later this year in the month of August because Ryan stated that the film would release this year in August. Ryan has stated that he stars as Jeff Morrell, who is basically a city slick and real estate agent who loves a bit of Charlie and he's not a good guy. We know that Madeline Pesch and Froy Gutierrez and Gabriel Basol will star and we know that this is coming from Rennie Harlan, who I think directed the entire new trilogy. Uh, we know he's also directed Deep Blue Sea and had his share or lended his hand to the Nightmare on Elm Street franchise in the past. Uh, Passion Gutierrez will play a young couple whose car breaks down as they travel cross country to start a new life in the Pacific Northwest. They're forced to spend the night at a secluded Airbnb in Venice, Oregon, where they are terrorized from dusk till dawn by three masked strangers. Now, given what Ryan said, his role is related to being a real estate agent who is not a good guy i would assume he had something to do with setting these people up with being stalked by these strangers but we'll see how that goes the strangers again according to ryan will release in august later this year jumping into scream 7 jasmine brown sat down with comic book and gave some exclusive comments about where she would like to see scream 7 go and what she would not where she would like to see it go but where she would like to see mindy or hopes for Mindy in Scream 7 while also addressing some other things about character fates that we should prepare ourselves for in Scream 7. She said, well, I would like to see Mindy in the third act. Uh, selfishly, I just want to be around for that. And as she said at the end of Scream 6, oh, I missed the monologue again. I would like to see her see the monologue. It would be interesting for her to have a phone call with Ghostface for Ghostface to call her. I'm not sure what, what she would do with that. That could be really funny. Either of those I would be happy with. And then when addressing character fates that could be coming in the future, she said, well, it would be devastating, which is why it's going to happen at some point. The actor confessed. That's the way these franchises go. David Arquette's Dewey Pass, given it wasn't until five movies in, but he did. I think it's inevitable, but I'm just so curious who it would be and how and why. It's amazing Chad didn't die, considering that man was basically gutted. Oh my God, that was insane. I can't get that image out of my head. I hope it's not Mindy. I hope Mindy doesn't go first. Now, a part of me is like, does she know things about the story already? And that's why she's saying she hopes Mindy doesn't go first. Maybe Mindy is actually going to go first because there's something Jasmine knows that she isn't flat out saying she knows because she's just beating around the bush about it. But the other interesting thing that I thought was cool for her to mention is that she hasn't had a phone call with Ghostface. Now, you know, people who are clamoring for a phone call between Gail and Ghostface, I would like to see Mindy and Ghostface on the phone. I would very much like to see how that interaction would go. I would like to see it backed by a very intense chase sequence as usual, true screen fashion. Uh, if she ends up dying in the sequence, so be it. But I would like to see an iconic phone conversation between Ghostface and Mindy before we either close the close the door on that character or before we allow her to die if that's what they decide to do creatively as well because we know again the rumor out there is that jasmine brown according to the reliable scooper sinistealth she has contractual obligations to commit to yellow jacket season three over scream seven so could there be something written in that writes mindy off as a result of that if they decide to take that path if they decide not to wait for jasmine but given how busy everybody is I would think that they're going to just wait. And given the writer strike, they're probably just going to wait. I thought these are some cool comments from her, though, to have to talk about as far as wanting Mindy to have a phone call with Ghostface and wanting Mindy to be a part of the dialogue or the monologue at the end. I really couldn't care less if Mindy is part of the monologue at the end. The biggest highlight there for me was that 
she brought up a good point. Mindy hasn't had a phone call with the killer. I think that could be a very iconic sequence, something that could hopefully outdo what Gail and Ghostface just did in Scream 6 and win another award. Um, I know I know Scream 6 was such a flop, right? But the other thing that was interesting was, of course, her addressing the fates of these characters. Somebody's got to go at this point. In Scream 7, one of the twins, one of the sisters out of Sam and Tara, one of them has got to go take your pick. I have already said it. I wouldn't like it to be Mindy only because I think a lot of people dislike that character. So if I'm killing the character off, I would want it to hurt you, not you to celebrate it. So I would go for Chad, not Mindy. As long as it just is something that can push the narrative forward and can be used to help elevate the story being told, you can kill whoever you want. But on the surface, I would go for Chad, since Chad seems to be the, the more preferable twin out of the two. But you guys can let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and you this video in the description. I'll have links on my social media accounts. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews I'm going to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.